Welcome to this special presentation on Korean immigration history. In part one, we will look at the diversity of experiences of Korean immigrants to the United States. And we'll also look at how this is related to recent events as a result of the global pandemic. I am Leanne Yu, and I'm a professor of Korean history at Korea University. I am of Korean extraction, but I was born in the United States. My father immigrated to the U.S. in 1957 as a high school student and later went on to Harvard University. My mother also immigrated in the early 1960s as a student, and my family subsequently all moved to the United States. And this was possible because my grandfather was a cabinet minister for or President Sigmund Rhee at the time. So in many ways, this history is my own story. It's a personal story. And uh, it goes back to the, the different experiences of Korean Americans and a very long history, not just a recent history of Koreans moving from Korea to the U.S. This is also related to the recent movie Minari. Minari was nominated for six Oscars, with Yoon Yeo-jung receiving the Best Supporting Actress Academy Award. But the movie is a classic immigrant story about the American dream. It describes the trials and the tribulations of a Korean immigrant family, but it also shows a side of Korean immigration history that is not well known namely the challenges and the racial discrimination that Koreans faced once they reached the United States. And so we hope that through this special presentation, we'll be able to show that Korean immigration history is actually American immigration history and that there are a lot of parallels and a lot of similarities and that, that other American groups can relate to Korean immigrants. This is also a very long history dating back to the late 19th century, and so with the first phase being the 1880s to about 1945, the second phase being 1945 to the end of the Korean War in 1953, the third phase then preceding that, uh, going from the 1950s up to the present. And during this time, it was peppered with U.S. legislation. For example, in 1882, there was the Chinese Exclusion Act, which forbade Chinese from entering into the United States. And in 1924, there was the Oriental Exclusion Act, which then banned all Asian immigrants from going to the U.S. except for students. And this kind of racial discrimination and racial tension we have seen in recent times as well. So given that with the global pandemic, there is also a rise again in discrimination against Asians and Asian hate crimes, this is a timely presentation for us to look at the history of Korean immigrants to the United States in order to dispel misconceptions and misunderstandings and to hopefully ease these racial tensions that have become prevalent today. So this brings us to the end of part one. And in part two, we will look more deeply into the long history of Korean immigrants going to the United States, beginning with the late 19th century and up to the present.